Nathan and Fani coming to your office and spending time together at your office? No, I mentioned, um, I do recall testifying on the 16th that she had come to our office. And that was before she was elected as district attorney, correct? I recall that that was when she was district attorney. Because I said that there was a meeting held at my office. And who was at that meeting? I, I, now, I can't tell you that. I don't recall. But you know, Ms. Willis was there, Mr. Wade was there. It was at our office, um, actually. Uh, Ms. Willis was there, and there were other people there. Mr. Wade was not in that meeting. He was, he was in the back. Uh, I wasn't even in that meeting. Why did she hold it at your office? Then? I have no idea. Um, you also remember telling me about them spending time together at her law office before she took <coughs> took her job. I don't recall, do you? I don't recall, do you have something to? Well, what I'm asking is, um, she, so let, let's back up a sec. So Ms. Willis rented a law office from the Evans firm, or Andrew Evans and another lawyer, I think Stacy Evans. Um, you have knowledge of that, correct? No, I don't object to your saying. If, well, how does he know the information? That would be the correct question. Okay, um, Ms. Mershon. I don't really know even how to respond to that. Um, you're saying, I'm asking if he knew that she rented yeah, offices. Yeah, he may have, he may have been there. <coughs> right. He may, have, he may have seen a business card or something at some point. I think you can answer that. I've never been to Miss Willis's office when she was in private practice. I've never dealt with where she rented. I didn't even know where her office was. So. Do you remember, though, knowing that she rented an office yes. from the office. Yes, you did know yes. That, that is correct, yes. Okay. And do you remember telling me that Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis would rendezvous at that office? I'm going to object to, again, hearsay as to how he knows that information. He said he has no personal knowledge. He, he did just, not say he has no personal knowledge, Judge. He hasn't even answered it. No, he said in general he had no personal knowledge, so it's not been established the source of how he would know this because he said he's never been to her office. All right. Uh, Ms. Merchant, if you, if, if you, uh, I know you're trying to impeach him by a, uh, a prior and consistent statement, but unless you can first back up and show why each statement is actually something that he had knowledge of, I, I don't know if this is going to be relevant. Yeah. And Judge, I'm not even there yet, but again, that, a speaking objection, and so now I would anticipate what our response is going to be next. Um, I didn't ask anything that was objectionable, but these objections are coaching the witness. I asked if he had knowledge. That's it. I didn't ask, did someone say this to you? I didn't ask, what did this person tell you? I asked if you knew. Well, no, you're, you're asking if he had knowledge, and then you say of something specific. So... Once I get an answer to that, if he has knowledge, then I will follow up with where that knowledge came from. All right, well, let's try again. So my question is, do you have knowledge of them meeting at that office? Objection, foundation. Okay, all right, overruled. Do you have knowledge of them meeting at that office? I have no personal knowledge, if that's what you're asking. I didn't ask that yet. I asked if you have any knowledge. Objection, that would be hearsay. No. Overruled. Not if it came from Mr. Wade, I don't know Judge. where it came from. So he said, how do you, how do you know, Mr. Bradley? How do you know? Any knowledge that I would have um, received would have come from my client at the time. Okay, so you had knowledge of this place that, that Ms. Willis worked. What did you know about them meeting at that office? Objection, hearsay. It's not hearsay, Overruled. Judge. Wouldn't be how he knows it, and then you ask the next question. All right, he's already, she's already, he's already asked the next question. Can you repeat the question? Yes. How do you have knowledge? What knowledge? Did, well, you just told us. You told us Mr. Wade told you. So tell us what Mr. Wade told you about Ms. Willis and Mr. Wade meeting at the Evans office. Uh, objection, Your Honor. Privilege. This clearly covers a time after December 2018 that would be covered by the privilege. Yeah. Um, overall.
you recall the question, Mr. Brandt? I do not. You re asked the question, Ms. Merchant. What did you learn from Mr. Wade? I was clarified that's where you learned it from. About Mr. Willis, Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis meeting at the Evans office together. I don't object to ask an answer. He's testified. He has an answer. Yeah, we haven't heard an answer. He testified he had one conversation with Mr. Wade in the back of his law Judge, office. No, but his, and his answer may change. So tip him off as to what, how to answer the question. I can't recall what the conversation was. Um, I do. I do recall um, knowing that they would that he would go down to the office or had been down to the office, but I can't tell you in what capacity or when or any of that, no. Mr. Wade told you that they had sex at the office, though, correct? I don't recall him saying that, no. You don't recall? No. So it's possible he did say that? You just don't remember one way or another? I do not remember him saying that. Okay. Um, and 